but good morning, by the way, Ryan. If you want to come up here, I mean, I'm 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 curious. I'm just I, I just I, I didn't see anything that took me off the fence of saying that Kylie is not real. Um, yes, ma'am. Yeah, I got him. I, I, hey, let me run. Okay. Hello, my dear. Hi, how's it going? It's good. Nice to finally meet you face to face. So I'm full warm Betty. How are you? Uh, I'm pretty good. Okay. Well, I just want to clear the ear. I don't, first of all. Oh, can I, I, I answer your mean... last question? Yeah. Okay. So the thing with the friends, I would just simply post a video of me standing by them. You would have, you'd have posted a video of you standing by them? Yeah. You know, you mean from the party? From anywhere. Yeah, I've got photos of her. I can't release them just yet because they're not my photos. Um, but you I have I, photos I, of the friends. I have photos of her friends. I have photos of her childhood. I've got photos. Yeah. Why didn't you put they them out from, yet? They came from legit sources. I mean, this uh, this idea. Uh, you know, I just I, I love you. God bless you for all the good that you, you don't do. love me. You don't know me. <laughs> okay. Well, then. So, what would you like to say? I'm just here to answer questions. Okay. So does uh, I've got the link up at the top if people would like to a answer questions. Um, you know, obviously this is a, you know, a touchy subject for people and um, just trying to, to find out, you know, why do you feel that Kylie isn't real? I haven't seen any proof of her being real. But anybody that shows you a photo, you immediately say it's Photoshopped. Why ain't there a video of her talking? If you found a video of her talking, if I can provide you a video of her talking, can we put this to bed? There should already be one. So I, I, I don't know how long, um, just just my my um, experience with, um, you know, missing persons and homicide cases at points in the case, they shut down social media. So, for example, I do a lot of um you know, those uh, mass shooters like the, um, um, you know, stores where they come out with the guns and stuff like that. We cover those. Did you know that within five minutes of them identifying the person that's doing the mass shooting, every single one of their social media accounts come immediately down? That's done by the FBI. You you, you hmm. see what I'm saying? So how come, how come how come new Instagrams keep popping up of the same people duplicated? Because it's probably trolls doing that. Who's to say it wasn't trolls in the beginning? Because how would they get access to private photos of the family, private photos of her being with her friends? We have those seen are not being exhibited on any of these these new Instagram pages, these new Twitter pages. All these it, these these fake accounts that are popping up have none of those things attached to them. Exactly. But that doesn't necessarily mean she's not real. It just means some a hole set up an account. Like I've been trolled. I'm sure you have too. Where <clears throat> these people make fake names and go into these chats and say outlandish things that as if they're you or as if they're me. I, I think it's something on, on that line for me personally. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure. Um, I to know me, like, to me, it just, I just go back to logic. I shouldn't I, actually, I don't have to prove that someone is not real. People have to prove they're real. So the onus is on everybody else. Who? Well, you just said, I don't have to prove that she's not real. People need to prove that she is real. Who, who, Who's the decider of who has to prove who's real and who has to prove who's not real? Who's the decider of that? Well, if someone robs a store, you have to have a picture and a video of who robbed the store. You can't mm -hmm. just say the store was robbed. Then the person behind the counter could have stole the money. Mm -hmm. So this whole, you, let me ask you this. How would it make you feel? If you go down this this line and you're you're going down this pretty hard saying that she's not real and that this was all set up and everything like that, you seem like a, a, a nice guy. You seem like a, a guy that has a heart. How how is that gonna affect you when you realize that she is real and you have just been all over social media? adding insult to injury to her family and friends.
that are grieving. What friends? Specifically. What then? What friends? Uh, Max, Kate. There's no, there's no pictures of them with her. So everything that you're basing your information on is the lack of photography. I'm, I'm saying exactly what I'm seeing and no one likes it and I don't get it. <laughs> okay. I'm only saying what the people that are involved are saying. But it sounds like there's a lot of weight being levied upon social media in phot photography and videos as opposed to, you know, factual, you know, did, have you looked at for That's my point. Birth, birth certificates? Have you looked, I mean, have, you know, I, I'm sure you got some of the best sleuths there. I mean, getting into these, you know, we were able to um, reach out to a few people and get access to their Instagrams that were previously um, privatized and locked down. Um, are, are you working on that kind of avenue so you can uncover the videos and photos that you're seeking? That just calls for people to go, it's a conspiracy. That's why I'm taking one step at a time and just simply looking at what everyone's putting out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's it. But, no proof. And if there is, show I, me I agree it. with you. The tow truck driver, I have to be honest with you. I, I do agree <clears> with you. the tow truck driver. It, 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 that's the, in, in my opinion, I know you don't believe Kylie's, um, real but if kylie was real and well, it's not that i don't believe it it's just that there's no proof i don't see it so if i don't see it i'm not going to say i seen it that's silly right so you're just acknowledging that you just haven't you just haven't had enough proof that, to say that she's alive i'm saying there's zero proof i, I disagree with that i disagree Where's the, with that. Uh, will you show me it can you show me the proof um, let me get permission. I will get, I will get stuff together for you and, and get it over, but I've got to go through, you know, these are, we are dealing with minors. We are dealing with the fact that these minors have specifically told, uh, people on my team, you know, they want to be co left confidential. But again, if we can work something out where they're, they stay confidential, I will release and turn stuff over to you without. That a, should without be in the police's hands, not y'all's hands. I'm sh it is in the police's hands. Just, just, and, and a lot of the stuff that you're seeking is already in the police's hands, including uh, video and photography of that party that night where they saw Kylie in photos at that party wearing that odd future um, thing. They just haven't released it to the public because this is an open and active investigation. Mm. Law enforcement even came out and told us uh, up front that they had, that one of the things that were weighing them down on time at the beginning of this is they had a lot of uh, footage and, and, and photos that they had to go through and, and look into um, to find out her location uh, as to one of the reasons why they it was taking long to to do this. I wouldn't trust them on anything. How can you trust somebody that said they spent X amount of man hours and all this stuff looking in this lake and then some guys show up and find it in 30 minutes after law enforcement said, hey, don't go look over there. Yeah, I'm not trusting those guys. And you don't you you're honestly believing that the that the law enforcement that doesn't touch sonar equipment, but maybe once or twice a year would have been two, able. It takes two seconds to watch the video. They have the same exact hummingbird system that AWP does. Yeah, but there's an a, a difference, and I think uh, Doug Bishop has explained it well. Their training and the fact that they use these um this equipment you know consistently every single day as opposed to once or twice a year that they really truly believe it was um you know user error and the fact that this car um is a newer car so it doesn't show up on sonar you don't believe any of that as an ex a good explanation as to why they couldn't locate this vehicle what did awp also say um that it was suspicious up. Oh, no, it was definitely suspicious, but I don't think it was the fact. You I know think why it was it's suspicious? Because why? Because they, they know that there's 12-year-olds with flat-bottom John boats to go fishing every day that could use that system. You mean a cop can't use it? Right. But did they they, they, did they specifically say, because when we had um, um, Carson McMaster on here, it was alleged that he, Anissa, I see you back there. I'm not bringing you up right now. Um. The, um, where was I going with this? Um, sorry, I just got distracted. Oh, you're okay. Um, so with the sonar and everything, the John boat, I did have a problem with the fact that when they did, the, they did take the, um, drone over that uh, body of water. I could clearly see 
that vehicle in there. So, I mean, I, I, I don't discredit that some of these things I, I do question. Um, I do, I definitely, without a doubt, question as to how this did, did happen. And, and, and that, that's where I, I could support your, your questioning on personally. I mean, not like you need my support at all. I'm a peon compared to somebody like you. But um, at the end of the day, um, I could support something like that. But saying that a 16-year-old child is not real or didn't lose her life, I just, uh, me personally, I, I've got a huge problem with that. I, I just, it, it, it just, it's, I'm a woman. You know, I have uh, different emotions than, say, a man. And this is really... Yeah, but you got the same brain, though. I do have the same brain. I do have <clears> the same brain, but my brain is not processing the information like your brain's processing it, unfortunately. I'm just looking at what's what we see and what's real. What we I and mean, what we can tell is real. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, if she's real, I mean, if she's real, it's just show me. I mean, well, if that's what you need, I think that 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 that's reasonable. I, I don't think that that can't be obtained and i'm i i will if that's what you need i will definitely and i think many other Absolutely. creators will start working on getting legit verified information all right um, you think callie was real right i do i really okay do. how you think she passed away in that car i i don't know where she passed away but i do know she was inside that car and dumped in the bottom of the I, how did she delete all of her posts this morning on instagram if that was her Instagram, which I believe it was a, it's not her Instagram. We were told by police it was her Instagram. Okay, well, there's a multiple way because first of all, I know for a fact FBI gets into Facebook and can shut uh, shut Facebook's Instagrams and everything else down. I've seen it done on every single mass shooting we have because that's how come they didn't do it? They just did it today. Look how long it's been. Probably Why because today? this is now becoming a major case. I, I think this. I think what we're not that what we're missing here is that they they have not told the public that they have moved this over to a homicide inve investigation. They told us that last week. No, it was a criminal investigation, and not a no, no, not not with this one. It's not a criminal investigation. The last time, the last press conference, they said it was an a, a fatal accident collision investigation. Nobody has said anything about. Um, a, a criminal investigation or a ho or upgrading to a homicide investigation. The but last, the last Prosser, the last Prosser uh, press conference. Yes, the oh, redheaded cop I said that. I, I must not have seen that one because the yeah. last one I saw, they they uh, the the a highway patrolman came up and said we're going to be conducting this as a fatality, a fatal um, accident collision. But I, again, you know, it's so hard because I've been trying to do all the studying on this case. I don't have this huge elaborate team or anything. So I don't either. I, I miss some things, you know, I don't, I, I don't, I edit all my videos on my movie have since 2014. Yeah. Yeah. So, but you know, I, I, I don't want to get off on the wrong foot. I mean, we, there's going to, throughout this whole journey on YouTube, there's going to be times that we agree with each other and just times that we don't agree with each other. And I really think that work that you do is, is, is very good. I'm so happy. I mean, you, you helped out in Summer Wells case and getting that, um in, in getting that case exposure i think was that your first um true crime case or have you been i don't i don't even do true crime uh-huh i just look at what people tell me to look at yeah yeah what do you think about and just is kind of off topic a little bit but what do you in my opinions please I, i'm kicking you for a reason coming back is going to end up getting you banned um so um what do you think about the whole Summer Wells thing? Just a little off topic because I, I do. I, it's not like I get a, a, a an opportunity to speak to you often. So, oh yeah, You're, so I'd yeah. like to take the opportunity to ask you about Summer Wells, which was a case that I covered uh, very intensely. Hmm. I don't know. She could have been snatched from the house. Mm -hmm. it's plausible. Yeah. Yeah, because you you had I, and you know, that was the first actually, you know, to be honest with you, I didn't even know you were a country singer. The first time I actually um, uh, heard your name for the first time for me, because I, I just don't watch TV and I don't listen to music mm -hmm. all the time. <laughs> it's nothing. Oh, I'm not on TV. Yeah. So um, at, at the end of the day, um, the first thing it was about you coming out and saying uh, it was a post that you said, look, guys, I'm just trying to help a little you know, a little girl that's missing. Why are you guys being so nasty and attacking me? I'm a singer. I'm not into this, you know? And mm -hmm. that was the first time I had approached. And I, and I actually wrote you and I said, you know, Ryan, hate haters will hate. Just keep your head up and keep doing you. I remember writing that. 
Oh. And um, uh, that was the first time I, I heard about you. And then, of course, you know, this whole thing, you, I, I, with all this commotion with Kylie, you stepped up to the plate. You gave her face and her name a, an amazing and huge platform uh, to help. And I think you did help in that realm. Uh, but now we have some questions. And, I, and I, I have questions of my own. They're just different from your questions. That's all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, so you're kind of looking at it from this way. And I'm looking at it. I mean, even if we take that... Um, Let's just take, for example, uh, play devil's advocate and just say, you know, Kylie, that wasn't Kylie in that car, mm -hmm. but we know somebody was, we know mm -hmm. that there was a human being in that car. And mm -hmm. at, at the end of the day, that human being deserves justice because human beings just don't go missing and, and wind up in the back of a car in the bottom mm -hmm. of a lake. So is there, is there a way, I mean, I know you're going to probably go down this because, you know, this is where you're, you there's something compelling you to, to follow this path through. And I, I, I have no doubt that you're going to do it and you'll get, you'll seek the answers that you're, you're, you're looking for. I, I do believe in the, at the end of the, all of this, I do believe we all have answers uh, that we're looking for. Now the tow truck driver, you think the tow truck driver is full of shit as opposed to just mistaken identity. Why do you feel that way? Well, uh, because he's six foot tall. Uh, he's got slight muscle mass. He um, drives a tow truck, and he was having complications with one of the most basic cars you can have complications with. And if this other guy's apparently, quote, unquote, chasing this little girl around the car, why didn't he man up and snatch him up and say, hey, what the hell's going on? Right. Not only that, he painted the same exact picture as Ron, the Ronnie character, which is, I know from finding a yearbook from the town mm -hmm. that is a guy named Milo. It's proven. I have the yearbook picture. Yeah. Um, I have his face. I was the first person to have his face screen recorded from the number that went to Mel Salino, mm -hmm. which is attached to Ick Mel's name. Uh, the Ronnie Jones guy who is the African-American male, his <clears throat> name is not Ronnie Jones, which is why he has no problem taking the name Ronnie Jones. Right. Which is a uh, common name, by the way. I mean, it's almost yeah. as common as like a Jane Doe, right? Mm -hmm. John Smith or something. Yeah. Um, They all have the same story. And the thing is, is uh, and going back to uh, the Kylie thing, I believe that the body inside the car was a kidnapping of some sort that someone got away with. Because if you can kidnap one person and take that one person that is their the case is over with you can constantly overlap that person with the other person if they look similar and serial killers have um some of these weirdos have um what do you call it uh uh like a type or whatever like blonde headed young girls like this situation and there's a strain of blonde headed white girls that go back pretty far and if you do the math I found someone who did go missing a while back and it was a big ordeal with, with someone named Zanny the Nanny. And if you do the math on that person that came up missing, which was a child, they're 17 years old now. Yeah. There's a lot of, um, I, I definitely agree that there's a lot of uh, oddities, uh, you know, here. And, and I wonder if, if maybe you're picking up on something, but you're obviously you yeah, right, right avenue as is, but you, you might be picking, you might be feeling like there's something here, but might be in the wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, maybe look how much I found. I found so much stuff before everyone else. And now those things are playing main factors. Is there any possibility that I could take a look at some of the stuff you have and process it and just, you know, just, take a, a seat. I think that's probably it. I just, I, I'm not seeing what you're seeing. I'm not reading what you're reading. I, I my based on what, what I'm what, seeing. What do you, what do you what, just ask me and I'll tell you. Um, and, or so show I, you. I, don't, I, I don't know what to ask because I don't know what you saw, you know, like um, during your research, I saw what y'all saw. You have, have, have started saying something doesn't sound right here. You know, so there's, there has to be an event that made you question uh, Kylie's existence. What was that event? There being no information. What do you mean? Well, there's there's typically not a whole lot of information in. in That's crime. why I don't think she's real. <laughs> yeah, but we but for me, I deal with this every single 
case that I deal with. We have literally no information. Are you, a, are you law enforcement or something? Huh? Are you law enforcement or something? No, no. I, I try. Oh, you, so I travel all over the country. And so I, I go out there and I search for missing people. Um, I was on TikTok and uh, I, I partner with a, a gal by the name of Chronicles of Olivia. She has um, about, you know, two plus million uh, followers on TikTok and all these other things. Well, we travel uh, with Jonathan Lee Riches around the country to search for missing uh, kids. We, you know, I was one of the, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I think maybe you rubbed me raw because I was one of the original protesters in front of Gabby Petito, Brian Laundry's house. Oh, and no. uh, yeah, and so I went out to uh, Kylan Schulte and Crystal Turner, which is the double homicide in Moab. They're, those are the girls that actually saw Brian um, hitting and, 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 you know, beating up on um, Gabby out in front of the Moonflower at that coffee shop. We went out there. We went out to the Summer Wells case. I covered uh, Kathleen Moore, Colin Knapp. I just, I, I travel around the country. Was there any videos of that? Of which one? Of him beating her up. Yeah, there, it was caught on uh, surveillance from the Moonflower because the Moonflower is directly across the street from the um, the coffee shop. Can we look it up? Um, yeah, we can look it up. I don't know where it'd be right now, but I know I, I've seen it. And I um, let's see, Gabby, you know. Surely it's up if it's something that serious. Uh, fight with boyfriend. Uh, da, 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 da. It happened so long ago. I'm not sure. I know I've got stuff. I've got like a whole, uh, probably about, I don't know, 50 gigs of of their file here. Let's see here. Moonflower. Let me just do Moonflower altercation. See if I can find that. Moon. Let's see what this one is. I don't know if this is this is it or not. I'm trying to find it as we. You might be asking yourself, the, can you actually create high quality live stream? Tonight, Fox 13 News has confirmed so another here. new development in the case of missing 22 year old Gabby Petito. We've reported the last place Gabby was seen alive was at a Salt Lake City hotel on August 24th. We can now tell you a family spokesperson says it was the Fairfield Inn and Suites on Admiral Bird Road, know that. just west of the Salt Lake City International Airport. That's right, Fox 13 News did go pull. to the hotel this evening. Where I actually was at this hotel too. She actually ate at the Perkins attached to the hotel. Um, let me see if I can find that actual altercation. Okay, I don't see it on this one. I'll have to look for it. I, there, it, it is out there somewhere. I just because I've seen it, but I don't know where it is. I may have to reach out to Olivia because she does m the majority of all of our videos, especially at that time. Oops, at that time in our in the work that we did. Y'all wouldn't want to post that. Uh, there, we didn't have it. It's not our copyrighted stuff. We didn't have that uh, information. And when we first, to be honest with you, it may be posted. But when we first started down this road, we were on TikTok. I've only been on uh, this platform, the YouTube platform, about nine months. I, 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 I'm just here from TikTok. I'm still learning how to use YouTube, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't. Uh, just to answer this. Um... In the chat, I think this case rubbed off Ryan wrong. Yeah, man, I, I have, you know, like three jobs. <laughs> I'm an entertainer. I own a uh, real estate company, mm -hmm. and I build houses for a living. I don't have to sit here, dude. <laughs> I can right. retire like three, like three years ago. And I think that's what people don't understand is like this really is kind of almost a labor of love for you. Like this is something that uh, you enjoy following and, and, and helping with. I mean, for me, I is as horrible and despicable as the work is, you know, it's something I enjoy and I have a passion for it. Um, you know, especially going out, I, I'm not really one that sits behind the keyboard. I like being out in the field. I don't understand how I'm being rude. I'm just sitting here answering questions. Guys, first of all, uh, Ryan Upchurch has been nothing but courteous and respectful here. She's and been, she's been great too. You know, so it, I, I don't, and I told you and, and for my mods in here, again, we have a zero uh, tolerance policy for disrespectful, especially to creators and especially to guests on my show. This is my house. So please be respectful while in my house. 
Um, yeah, and I'm sorry, you know, for for the backlash. I, I understand it, but you 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 have to know that um, coming up with statements like this is going to make people talk. Like, you know, we're we're gonna, coming up with coming up with them. What do you mean? Well, you know what I'm saying. Coming out. Maybe I should say coming out with with statements like this. Coming. Oh out. yeah. You know, there's you 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 have to expect that there's going to be people that are like, you know, not. Yay. And then the ones that are on the fence. I mean, you have to know that this was going to be mind blowing and many of us were going to take a position. Yeah, I mean, but I mean, you got to have somebody on here that doesn't it doesn't care, though, too, because a lot of these people get on here and they search for something crazy to mm -hmm. say. And, you know, and plus, it, I mean, it doesn't really bother me because I mean, I'm just I'm simply looking at what we are provided mm -hmm. and when 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 i see what i see and i and i just say okay well here's what it is to me by what i'm looking at i have no ulterior motive like i don't i don't i don't make money off youtube or right. nothing like that you know so and i don't have any reason to say something i don't believe oh you know mm -hmm. so i found this um this is uh Kylie Rodney, you know, just this is just imagine this something that I, I found hits you off just and now. He's looking for a beat. Imagine having royalty free drag and drop melodies like this. Hey guys, open oh, my that's... channel. So is doing so here. Research. Do you all think that? Very talented. What's that? I said she's very talented. You don't think this is her? It could be, but there, but there's no indication it is though. Uh, it says uh, Kyle, uh, Kylie Rodney singing and playing guitar with her grandfather. This has been this, you know, even the news uh, received some videos that her grandfather released to the news of her singing and and playing her instruments. But also that guy that's standing right there to the left. This is this her grandfather. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. look up pictures of her grandfather, it's also the dad on a TikTok to another girl named Callie. That's what I actually found. Yeah, because I got that photo, and there was there is a blonde in that photo that we did not identify, but the kids in that the back of that car we've identified and went through their entire Instagram page. And have confirmed that they are the people, the two girls in the back of that car. There was a total of five girls. There was two in a little. Let me go back here so you can see my face. No, yeah, I know. I know exactly okay. what you're talking about. Yeah, you're right. But look at the girl on the flip side picture. Yeah, that the one up at the top. Now, I believe that that could be because the, we did hear that 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 was the girl that has a problem with one of the girls in the car now. Uh, they did. They were friends that night, but something happened, and they're no longer friends. But I don't remember her name, and you may be right. It could have very well. Oh been no, you right. can look it up right now. She has a whole page of videos. Okay, and what's her name? Uh, on uh, TikTok, it's C A L L I E. Hold on, here yet. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I, I type slow. <laughs> see, see, look. This, this is someone who wants to look up something like, and when you do see this, you're <laughs> oh, like, sorry, sorry. It's not, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Go See, ahead. this is this is someone who's open to look up what I'm talking about, dude. Everybody else wants to just yell. That's why I'm not yelling on here. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. We, I, I, like I said, I got no problem with you. I'm just trying to understand. You know? Yeah. Like, oh, I got you, dude. It's it's freaking it's complex. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what's her name? Okay, so it's um at C A L L I E uh R O and then four S's. Okay, got it. I got it here. So. Yeah, and I think that does look like the girl at the top. Curious. So, okay, so I'm here. Uh, did she change her entire? Oh, I'm not in or? there. Oh, I, I see what I did. I need to go. Oh, to her actual account. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, what? Oh, is. she made it private. Everything's ah. private now. Well, it's okay. I was, I have uh, I can send it to you. What's your Instagram? <laughs> uh, Bullhorn Betty. It should be at Bullhorn Betty. What is my Instagram? I got TikTok. What is my? Yeah, I, I think my mine's Bullhorn Betty. Oh, uh, I can send it to you. Look, if you want, you don't have to. 
if you don't want to, it's just, it's just your house. Like you said, there's a very small clip that I put on my, uh, on my YouTube channel not too long ago. As soon as I did, Kylie Rodney's page on Instagram that's been promoted this entire time, mm -hmm. all the posts were taken off. And guess what? The Jagger dude made a new Kylie Instagram. And Evil Exist po posted it this uh, seven hours ago. Yeah. And um, it matches Kylie with a K to Kylie with the C. Mm -hmm. And it also shows that the grandfather to Kylie with the K mm -hmm. and the grandfather and the dad to Kylie with the C are the same person. They are just seven years in difference in pictures. See, that's the thing with this case. The reason that it's so confusing is because people are using seven-year-old pictures and i can prove it because no. you can tell some of the photos are, are oh um, oh yeah are every song that they're playing in mm -hmm. these videos none of the songs are from any time recent they're all from four years backwards there's no songs from from four years backwards to this to forwards present yeah there's um but you know what i don't know because even like my accounts now that i'm you know been on here and stuff like that. I, I I locked them down because of the trolls, you know, them tearing me apart and tearing my whole life apart and reaching out to people they should not be reaching out to and everything like that. But they don't, these kids out here don't have that problem. Like they're, they're not, you know, they're trying to have normal life. So I, I don't know, you know, that is kind of odd, you know, about these. I think um, we have brought that up quite a lot throughout this whole entire case since it started, which hasn't been very long. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, um, a homicide or the type of investigation like this goes on for, you know, quite a long time. But we've had a lot of stuff happen in such a short amount of time. But um, I don't know. I, I, I there's always been a lack of photos. I can agree hands down. There's been a lack of photos, been a lack of videos. It's been taking, uh, it's almost like pulling teeth uh, to get this. And, and, and I'm telling you, if I could tell you that it takes us hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of doing this, doing that, just to get to one person that may be connected to this case, just to get a little scintilla of information that can help us decide, it's been very difficult. I can agree with you on that. Oh, yeah. Dude, did you see the picture that was shared everywhere that was one of the main pictures? When you zoom in on her teeth, mm -hmm. it is two sets of teeth edited together, and the lines on the teeth are uneven. Oh, it, it looked like to me like there was some gum issue. Big you know? time. Yeah. yeah, and in the front, it's uh, they cut it in half, so they tried to match her canine, and it didn't work. Mm, I'll have to go back. I know exactly what picture you're talking about. It's the mm -hmm. one where she's like, kind of like this, and she's got that flower or floral, um, like. Did you know. notice how uh, that picture was re-uploaded, and it was mm -hmm. fakely put up, said FBI at the bottom, and the part where she's moving her arm, they blacked it all out. If you find the unblacked one, the reason they blacked it out. <laughs> Is because the original one, if you zoom in, you can see where they cut somebody's face out and stuck it on there. Because what they do is they try to blend it in and they forgot to do the blending process. Do you think that that could be because, you know, we, we deal with so many people out here that are trolls and like even with um, uh, Gabby Petito, you know, they were showing hands popping out of, you know, underground and, you know, <laughs> just they were showing what? Like they were trying to say that in the back of the yard, they could see a hand coming out of the ground that they think there's an underground bunker at that house, you know, in Northport and stuff like that. But we knew it was, it was, it was Photoshopped. It was lightly Photoshopped, but you could tell it was Photoshopped. Good and, luck building a basement underground in the Florida where they're at. Yeah. There's, there's no, we have so much water here. You, you, yeah. dig, you dig down three, four feet. You're, you're in water. You have cabbage grass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it was just, it was just odd, but you know, do you think it's like law enforcement or do you think it's like these people that are malicious online trying to, you know, thwart people like us that are following true crime so they can later make fun of us and said, ha ha ha, you know, we trolled her. Uh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. My apologies. Um, do I think AWP is a conspiracy? No, man. <laughs> AWP is the one who said, Hey, this is suspicious. Mm -hmm. And you have a good working relationship with AWP, from my understanding. Is that correct? I do not. Mm. Okay. Okay. So there's some some things. They're cool, though. I like those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. 
Gotcha. They they're really really intelligent. You could tell in the tow truck, uh, the tow truck video, the guy slips up twice. Yeah, I wasn't confident with the tow truck driver. You know, regardless, mm -mm. Because it's it, it it almost seems like the one piece that just doesn't make sense in the whole the whole thing. I mean, I understand your position with the the, the behind the scenes work you're doing about this stuff, but just on the the, the storyline itself where this child, uh, you know, everything seemed like it was right around Prosser, you know, the, the time that she showed up, where they were partying, the last ping of her phone, all the, the one thing that's out of place with this entire story is the Boca Reservoir, her being over there the next day. That, 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 that really, it, it's the one piece that just to me doesn't, makes sense with what we're seeing but mm -hmm. you know, and i know you've got more but for me that's that's it just oh. doesn't make sense oh no yeah it, it definitely don't they uh that's that was them pointing them in the wrong direction probably because mm -hmm. if if the tow truck was already over there that means something was done with the tow truck and if they didn't tow her car why was the tow truck there because mm -hmm. it was having to leave from doing what it did, whatever that was during those night hours. Mm -hmm. And then that meets up at 11 o'clock. And yeah, that just don't add up. And there was another thing I wanted to show you. There was also another um, gentleman, which I, I found it quite odd. Um, when Jagger and, and uh, Kate were searching, remember we all were th thought it was off, off the odd that they went to Reno, they took the news at least oh, for me, yeah. you know, they took the news uh, organization to Reno or like, why are they searching in Reno for, for Kylie? Well, we knew in, in the interview on uh, Fox 40 was with Kate and Jagger, but there was a third person with them out there. Or was it the cameraman? Yeah, something. It, it, it was, but it was, it was somebody. And I believe it was that um, it was a guy by the name of Nate that was with them. But he did not want to give his name to news. He did not want to go on camera. He 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 was really just the only reason why he was caught is because he just happened to be walking behind them as they brought the camera around and he was photographed. I thought that was odd. Like you have all these people getting in front of um, news media, begging for their friend to be returned home. And then you've got this guy out there searching specifically with and This is the odd thing. Remember, the tow truck driver talked about a guy with an SF hat that had brown hair coming out, uh, out from under it. This also matches the description of that third person that they were with. I think he was too specific. Yeah. Way too specific. Yeah, because what did you do yesterday? You probably can't even remember what you ate for lunch yesterday. Oh, I'm a freak. I remember everything. Do you? I can't. Like, I, I can't. I, I Like, even last night when I was right before I was going to bed, I was like, did I eat today? Like, I can't even remember. And, and then this guy is like weeks later and he's describing this whole entire thing with such specificity and clarity, but he can't give you, you know, information. Like he didn't really talk about the um, make model style of the car, the license plate, the phone number that he called. Now maybe Adventures with Purpose have that information. I corroborate information that I don't put out on YouTube all the time. Maybe they have it. I just like you, know, you with Kylie, I haven't seen it. That's the thing. What? Uh, no, that dude's not short. He said he was. Uh, he said he was almost six foot tall, six foot one. Yeah, because he said he goes. He was shorter than me, and I'm six three. But he brought his hand almost down to about his chin mm -hmm. when he when he when he said that when he made that statement. Yeah, so, and that's yeah. uh, it's just um, and also the dispatch. If you notice in the AWP interview, when he's questioning about the uh, dispatch, they both look at each other. The AWP guys, and then look directly back at him. I know if you know if you follow crime stuff, I know you know what that look was. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's when the guy started putting his hands in his pockets and guarding his front area and tucking his chin down to protect. You know, I didn't even I, I didn't even pay attention to those but body language um, indicators. But yeah, lots of garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got a few people that have questions. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't, is, is it okay that they come up here and maybe ask you some sure. questions? Are you yeah, okay sure. with that? Yeah.